Namaste and welcome. I'm Courtney with Courtney Harms Yoga and Fitness. Today we're going to do a nice short, sweet practice that's going to get you upside down. So go ahead and take a few shoulder rolls with me. A few inversions if you are a regular practitioner as they can have a really playful quality, a really exciting element to them. It can also be a little bit dangerous, so going slow. Warm it up at least for a few minutes to prepare is key. Now from those shoulder rolls, tuck the chin. And just take some half rotations, rolling from ear to ear, shoulder to shoulder. Maybe take it all, all the way around. Being honest with yourself, if the neck is really tender today, go extra slow, maybe opt to stick with modifications. Deep breath in. Keep the chin at the chest, let it out. Roll up through the crown, interlace your fingers. Press your hands forward, still hugging the shoulders back. Then take the arms up. Pinkies wrap back, thumbs move forward, doing your best to connect from the front to the back so we're not overarching in the lumbar, in the low or spine. Release the arms and let's just circle the wrists once or twice on the way down. Loop the shoulders. As shoulders draw back, the heart pulls forward, other thumb on top, reinterlacing. Deep breath in. Deep breath out, pinkies wrapping back, thumbs forward. Take another inhale as you exhale, split the hands. And circle those wrists once, twice, even three times on the way down. Palms resting on the legs for a breath, shoulders looping back, heart pulling forward. And then walk the hands forward, lifting your booty off your heels, arching and rounding, take a few basic cat-cows. Getting that even curve from the pubic bone to the belly, to the heart, to the crown of the head. Hanging out where you need to, even starting to roll it out with me, spinal rolls here. Inhaling, arch the back, exhaling, round the back. Maybe reverse direction. Taking another cycle or two, and then just finding your way back toward neutral. Take an inhale here as you exhale, draw the navel in. Start to reach your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Couple of moments here, walking a calf stretch, maybe swaying the hips, the heels side to side. Mm, great time to let it go through the mouth, sighing, even cooling ourselves down that way. And walk your hands to your feet. Drop your head. Maybe massage the base of the head or the neck and head come together. Maybe just ragdoll it, maybe a combo. Lingering for at least one more complete breath if you need to throw your hair up, take a layer off, do. Hands on hips, when you're ready, inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, navel the spine. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale here. So bring yourselves to the wall. Well, anything can work as a wall that is sturdy, right? So a tree could work, a door, as long as it's really solid, could work. But make sure there's nothing glass around you, you're safe. Come back to that downward facing dog. You can walk into it from a forward fold. You can take it from hands and knees. But do let your heels move toward that wall where you're still getting that big, expansive downward facing. If you're not sure, you can revisit Anything on the knees to get there. Aligning hand, shoulder width, or a little wider. Thumbs, pinkies bright. And you're breathing in, breathing out. Heels pressing to the wall. Palms rooting to the earth, driving your hips further up and back with each breath. 
And you're welcome to come to the knees to observe. I'm gonna keep my gaze toward the earth and walk my feet up inch by inch, pressing the feet into the wall, bringing them to about hip height, hugging the navel in as I breathe out. The key is to keep my arms straight, not to let the elbows buckle. And I can simply work here, especially if it's new. Or maybe, just maybe I take the right leg up for a breath or two, draw the navel in. Take that foot to the wall, left leg maybe lifts for a breath or two. And draw the navel in. Walk your feet down on the wall. Chilling out in that standing fold, drop the head. This time clasp the elbows and sway. For many of you, just trying that again could be great, right? Maybe that's plenty. For others, playing with me here, changing it up. Hands on hips to stand it up. Inhale, rise. And exhale, release. We turn it around, right? We're facing the wall. I walk to down dog where my hands are gonna align about a hand's distance from the wall. So where the heel of the hand would be if my fingers were snug to the floorboard is where my fingertips end up. I walk it into dog. Shifting toward a plank variation, I hug one knee in, nicknamed Tiger, like you're gonna pounce. And then I play with hugging the other knee in. Now for a breath or two on each side, you might notice which one feels most intuitive, starting there. I step the foot forward, roughly a third, maybe halfway. Shoulders shift over wrist, pushing the earth away. I try to hug that front knee toward the chest. Maybe my top heel reaches the wall, maybe not. And I play with it a couple more times. As the heel does reach the wall, sliding the second foot up to meet the first. Press up through the heels, lengthen the tail. Eyes can stay on the earth for the most stability. Breathing in, breathing out, maybe you play with bringing one foot away from the wall, potentially both. And then of course, standing full. <sighs> Sways, rocks, so just being as you are. Consider taking it one more time. Adamukha Vrikshasana, which is actually upside down tree. Maybe the second foot, the one that you didn't feel as intuitive about steps in. Working on our balance, even in these transitions, root to rise, hug the knee in. Two, three, four playful attempts. Maybe the heel lightly taps, second foot comes up to meet the first. Reaching up through the heels and the balls of the feet, tailbone does lengthen. And of course you can let the head release if heels are at the wall. But if you want to float, keep the gaze toward the earth. And then come back to that standing fold. Several breaths. <sighs> After that second or third handstand, consider rolling it up. Returning to those easy shoulder rolls that we did kneeling. <sighs> Maybe staying tall or coming back to the knees depending on what you're feeling. Right arm over left, eagle bind. Right in the fingers, stretch into the arms, the upper back. To release and switch. Palms or backs of hands together. Breathing in, breathing out. Eventually release. Taking yourself into some cat cows. Rewinding. Maybe you want to continue with your handstand practice, even in the middle of the room at the mat, if you're feeling pretty comfortable. Maybe you want to change it up and continue into a flow. Maybe you just want to let that be enough for now and you're resting back in balasana or child's pose. You can interlace fingers or just let them relax. Spending a few breaths, making it your own. Whether it's a short, sweet practice, or you're continuing on. Hmm. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.